what we are looking to do is create a website that is going to be linked on the contact us portion of our Cherry Hill East website. Um, so I'm going to go to Mr. Pierlot's name here in our directory and as you'll see over here on the right there is a link to view his website. And when I click on that it brings us to the site that he created in um, Google using his CHCLC account. <clears throat> um, he has a link down here to his eboard where um, the students can go there to find the resources and other things that he had and has still on his eboard. Um, and then if you look across the top of the page, there are links to his different classes um, that are broken out by their different periods that they meet. So if I go here and click on period A, economics, um, he's left a place to add announcements and information for um, his class. And he put another link here again to his eboard so that if students need to access that, they can go here. Um, and over here on the left, he has imported his calendar from the Google Classroom for um, his period A economics course so that students can see and parents, um, more importantly, can see upcoming assignments and things that they could not otherwise access without going into their students CHCLC uh, Google Classroom accounts. So, I don't know what Siri is doing here, but um, that is going to be ultimately our goal. What we're going to start out with here in step one is simply creating the site. So, I'm going to go to sites, S I T E S, sites.google.com. And yours may come up uh, looking a little bit different than mine. Mine brings me to a landing page for what the old version of Google Sites looked like. Um, so then I need to come over here to where it says New Google Sites. So if you come to a page like this, come over here on the left and click on New Google Sites. Um, depending on your device, you might come right to this page, which is the new version of Google Sites, which is much more user-friendly to work with um, than that older version that first popped up on mine. Um, there are, over here where it says start a new site is where we're looking to go. You can um, pick a theme that already exists if you would like. If there's some, um, you find one that you think has colors or um, things that'll be useful for your site, you can choose one of them. Or you can just go here to start a new blank site. So I'm just going to click on that. Once this comes up, we want to give it a title. Um, so I'm going to call it, uh, I'll just put my name here, Ms. Riley's website. Um, and then you want to give your page also a title. So I'm just going to do the same thing. If I can type and spell my name, that would help. Um, so there we go. Um, and there's not really anything else that you need to do right now for step one. Um, as far as editing and putting information in here, our main goal right now is just to get to the link um, for your website so that we can start updating the links here on the district um, contact us site for Cherry Hill East. Um, so once I'm here in my editing, what we need to do is publish the site. Once you hit publish, that's when um, the changes and the things that you've done while you're editing become live for others on the internet to see. Um, so hitting publish is when these changes take effect on the end of the website that the users are seeing when they click onto things. As I'm playing around and changing things within my website, um, no one is able to see those kind of edits that I am doing until I have published my final version of it. Um, as you'll see up here, the changes that I've made are being saved to my drive. So if you want to edit your page, but you're not quite ready for those edits to go live and be published yet, you can do that and have it, have your changes saved. And then once you're ready for the public to see what you've been doing, you can go here to publish. Um, so I am going to click on that 
and it's going to give me my web address here. Everybody's site will begin with sites.google.com slash chclc.org and then whatever you um, name it here, Google's going to give a suggestion and you can change that if you would like. Right now it is set up so that um, people outside of Cherry Hill Board of Education cannot see the site so you would have to sign in with a chclc login in order for people to view your website um, we need to change that because our goal with this is to make it so that parents and families can access the calendar and see other announcements and things for your classes without having to be signed in to any account so I'm gonna go to manage and I'm going to come down here to where it says links and click on the word change. And finally down here where it says publish site, I'm going to change this to the public and that's going to make it so that anyone on the internet can find and open this website to view as a viewer over here. Um, so. Make sure that you have changed that so that when we put the links on our East page, they are going to be able to be accessed by anyone without having to sign in first to a CHCLC account. And I'm going to hit done and I'm going to hit publish from this link. Next, now you will see that my link icon up here at the top is no longer grayed out. I am able to click on it and when I hover over it I get the message that it is going to be used to copy the published site link. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click copy link. From there I will now have my link to fill in when I go to complete the Google form um, so that I can submit the address to my new Google site and be able to have the East page updated to indicate my new site.